Yo. What is up, second mother lovers? This video is about to be about Kriana. Us. How y'all doing, second mother lovers? Okay, so I was really trying real, real hard not to discuss the, the likes of uh, Christopher Brown and Rihanna. Reason being is because if anybody remembers something I said years ago, Lord, I still ain't living that one down. So I just really was trying to stay away because it's really it really is a touching feeling situation. But I just want to go on and put my 2.5 cents in after all this is uh, YouTube.com slash Trinity Newman's channel. So I'm able to do and say what I want to. It's up to you if you watch it. So anyway, with that being said, I, I just wanted to go and put my 2.5 cents in. Okay, so we all know what happened. Tragic incident that happened five, what, five, six years ago when Chris Brown and Rihanna got into a, oh my God, a terrible, 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 you know, fight. And y'all know, y'all remember Rihanna's face came out looking mortified. Okay, so as the years go on, we've seen Chris Brown with different girls. We've seen Rihanna with different boys. But has anybody noticed that Rihanna has never been happy? Like when she was with Chris Brown, she was truly happy. Okay, so now I just want to have a friendly debate because I know that there's at least one woman and one guy, because I mean men get abused too. It's somebody that is on my channel that have stayed with somebody that has hit them, abused them, or whatever. So I want to talk about that. Like, do you guys think that Rihanna was wrong? Do y'all really feel that Chris Brown is truly sorry and he would never do it again? So I really want to know. My personal opinion, uh, some of y'all may not agree with me. I do not condone in abuse of any kind, verbal, mental, physical, none of that. I do not condone in it. You know, in my personal opinion, honestly, I don't, I, I can't answer that, but I know the one time that I was hit in my side by a dude, it was the last time he ever in his life touched a woman. I know for a fact because the butcher knife told me so. So I already know that that if something like that was to happen and, and see this is the thing with that situation first of all i was younger when that happened second of all i wouldn't even attach to him like that we didn't have nothing or whatever and i'm not saying that that matters but it kind of do you know but back in the day you hear these stories like i think about my grandmother you know my mother you know these are women that are very near and dear to my heart that were in abusive relationships you know and both of them you know got out of these relationships you know but you know it's a thing of, you know, why do some women stay? You know, I know in the back, back in the days, a lot of women stay because of the kids and because that was the thing to do. There was no such thing as divorce. You worked it out. You dealt with it. You know, women were more submissive back then. But we're in 2013 now. So, really? Wasn't that dump truck in my last... Let me tell y'all what's happened. It's a church that ain't far from me and they didn't finally use their building fund. And so now they building a new church. Y'all know people have building funds and they don't never build no new church. Well, guess what? The church is finally building a real church. So that's what we hear. And I apologize. But back to what I was saying. I, it, it's, it's 2013, so people can make their choices. But this is the thing. It's like, how much is your happiness worth? You know, I feel like Rihanna looks truly happy with Chris Brown. I feel like Chris Brown has really went through hell and back. Now, what he did, it was punk ass move. I will forever say that. I don't give a shit. Who has some say that? You just, I don't care what Rihanna did. You could have like choked her, like shook the shit out of her, something like that. Like, but to to beat the fuck out of her, excuse my mouth. But to me, that was just, it was it was overkill. It was kind of like when somebody, you know, commits a crime or whatever, and then they stab him over 70 times. Like, you just, okay, he was dead at number six. Why do you keep going? You know, so I just felt like it was overkill. But he, he finally made a statement saying, look, I was young. Man. You know what he was? He didn't understand fame. It's like, whatever, I can do what I want to. I'm untouchable. He learned, you know? So, you know, people are like, well, nah, he ain't never learned. You know, he just got anger. Well, shit. When y'all have anger, if you had to go through this, first of all, it's one thing to go through something like this, but damn, he's in the public eye. And you know what? I know firsthand, people can be really, really cruel on social media. I mean, they say some of the meanest stuff. And even when I'm like liking pictures on Rihanna's page, I'm like, damn, you got to go through a lot. Like, I don't want it. I ain't, ain't going to be able to do it. Not the way my life is set up. But, you know, for them, it's like I, I commend them for taking on the world and just saying, forget it. We are going to be happy with each other. If somebody don't like it, so be it. You know, because both of them was miserable without each other. You know, Karuchi was just there as a feeling. We all knew that a long time ago. But it, it's it's a sad situation. And like Rihanna said, that he's not given opportunity to do again. So my question is this. You know, can people really truly make a bad mistake and be forgiven for it? Or 
was that too bad you know and I know that they were saying that it was stories before that Chris Brown had been doing stuff but he was still young you know whatever still feeling untouchable but now that all of this has happened you know he has had legal issues you know he's just been the worst he's been a monster to the public eye what's y'all opinion I mean just I, I really would like to know I know some of y'all gonna be like hell to the now but I really want people to take a second and put themselves in Rihanna's shoes or put themselves in Chris Brown's shoes and I want to know what would you do anyway second one lovers as always this video is long enough and I gotta go to work mm, I gotta go to work I, this music stays in my head <laughs> I'm out ah, I'm on this way. people gonna judge anyway so you might as well just be happy